What's going on, guys? Today we will talk about how to know the top speed of any bike just by looking at its spec seat. I will give you real life examples. This video is going to be very informative. I mean trust me. You won't find stuff like this anywhere else man. That I can guarantee. So yeah. The things which have zero impact on top speed of any bike, the first is torque, you know. No matter how much torque your bike has, it won't affect the top speed. Second is CC. Doesn't matter how much CC your bike has, that won't have an iota of effect on the top speed, alright. Third, weight of the bike or the weight of the rider. Doesn't matter how heavy your bike is, doesn't matter how heavy you are, that won't affect your top speed at all. You, yeah, sure, your bike will take a lot of time, or you can say more time comparatively to reach that top speed, but scientifically, theoretically, the top speed will not be affected. Now let's talk about the things that affect top speed. The first is power, how many bhp your bike makes, I mean that's a given you know the second is rpm you know how high the rpm the power is being made or you can say at what rpm the peak power is being made that's a very important factor you know and the third is does the bike has an aerodynamic fairing or not the bike is full fared or not Naked bikes like these will have lower top speeds. Fully paired bikes like Pulsar RS200, Pulsar 220, R15, CBR250, CBR150, KTM R690, all those will have higher top speed. Simply because they cut through the air better. So, talking about the fairing, just how big of an impact a fairing can have. Let's take the example of Gixxer, you know, the Gixxer Naked and the Gixxer SF, the third one. Both bikes have same engine, both bikes make 20.6 bhp at 8000 rpm, power is same, rpm is same, only difference is SF got a fairing and Gixxer doesn't have a fairing, alright? And the real top speed of both these bikes are the Naked Gixxer. It tops at 119-118, no more than that. The Gixxer SF, that tops at 131 kmph or even 132 kmph, you know. So, yeah, 12 kmph more just by the addition of a fairing. Let's take the second example of the Yamaha FGS and the Yamaha Phaser. Both bikes have the same engine, both bikes make 12.9 bhp at the rate of 8000 rpm. Same rpm, same power, only difference is FGS is naked and Fager has a fairing and the FGS tops out at 109 or 110 kmph or in very good conditions it goes till 115 but no more than that and the Fager it tops out at easily 125 you know 121 is easy on that bike so again plus 10 kmph another example just to drive this point really home Pulsar 180 and R15 Pulsar 180 makes 16.8 bhp at 8500 rpm R152 makes 16.8 bhp at the 8500 rpm so same power same rpm only difference is that r15 has got a fairing and the pulsar 180 is naked all right and you know the pulsar 180 tops at 130 usually 135 max 
and uh, on five tops at 145 easy man some niggas even <laughs> go to 148 on this side so yeah plus 15 you see so better the fairing design or even a decent fairing you know can add plus 10 to plus 15 kmph easy the second thing which also also you can clearly see in this example how power affects the top speed i mean you know the fgs have the lowest power 12.9 bhp and they top out at 110 the gixxer has more power of 14.6 bhp and it tops out at 119 you see here what is happening and the pulsar 180 has 16.8 bhp and it tops out at 130 so what you are seeing here is 1.5 to 2 more bhp will get, give you 10 kmph extra all right you can safely assume that 1 bhp extra will give you plus 5 kmph easy 2 bhp extra will give you 10 kmph extra so only 2 bhp more and adding a penny can give you 20 to 25 kmph more that's how math works now the only parameter which has been left is the rpm how rpm affects the top speed of any bike let's take example of charisma r and honda cvr 150 both are fared bikes both charisma r makes 19.2 bhp at 7500 rpm and CBR 150 mix 18.2 bhp at 10,500 rpm notice that CBR 150 is at 1 bhp disadvantage so even with a disadvantage of 1 bhp the CBR 150 tops out at 145 kmph easy man <laughs> it some guys even go 150 easy on that bike you know and charisma it tops out at 130 so you see what is happening here charisma max rpm 7500 charisma makes the power at 7500 rpm cbr 150 makes the power at 10500 rpm so cbr makes the power whole 3000 rpm ahead and that 3000 rpm gives us plus 20 kmph or you can say yeah plus 20 kmph easy the second example is of royal enfield classic 500 and the mojo 300 both bikes are naked royal enfield makes 27.2 bhp and uh, mojo makes somewhere around that so mojo and royal enfield classic 500 both have almost same power all right the difference is royal enfield makes that power at 5250 rpm 5250 rpm and the mojo makes the power at 8000 the top speed of royal enfield is 130 kmph it goes to 135 rarely as you can see in my video <laughs> and the mojo tops out at 150 easy 150 to 153 some guys take it there so just by 3000 more rpm the mojo has a top speed advantage of 20 kmph so same phenomena you can see here also if your bike makes same power as another bike but at 1000 more rpm you can easily add plus you see how is the formula is now you can reach the top speed of any bike you can calculate top speed of any bike you can do top speed of any bike any bike any bike <laughs> just by using me method just by using me formulas